Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ESC Fan TV. My name is Ellie, and I'm here with Michelle, and it's our first interview of the national final season. And as you can see, we are joined by the delightful Elsha from Ireland. How are you, Elsha? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. So happy to have you here. Um, so just going to jump straight into it. Obviously, your song has stuck out for a multitude of reasons, but mainly it's um, the fact that it's predominantly in Irish. Um, what made you want to submit a song predominantly in Irish to Eurosong? So um, I guess I felt there was an important message to deliver in the song Gatubin, albeit a very crazy, chaotic track. Um, so we have only ever sent one um, uh, entry to Eurovision in the Irish language, and that was about 50 years ago. Um, I'm from a very varied musical background with a lot of Irish music in it. And I always thought if I ever went for Eurovision, I'd love to utilize like some like Irish language, Irish sounds in there. Um, and uh, when I decided that I was going to go for it last year and submit a song, I had the idea for the song just ready to go. I was like, I would love to write a song that's about someone who's trying to speak in Irish, but they've forgotten all their Irish because that speaks to the Irish experience of learning the language in school for like 14 years, but then we end up only remembering very basic phrases. So the phrases in Gotobin are some of those very basic phrases that a lot of us remember here in Ireland from school. I'd just like to say that, that, that I think the counted in the song is genius because that's what <laughs> you could easily pick up on it. And I think Caria did it last year with Cha Cha Cha. You need that uh, the hook to get you in. And I think it's genius that uh, you've got, uh, is it your brother shouting, oh, in the back? <laughs> And it's just yeah. it's hilarious, it's brilliant. Was that always planned? Was that always planned for him to do that? Or was that a happy accident? Because it's genius. It was a, a happy accident. So I basically um the song came to me very quickly, especially that bit. I was like, there has to be something that like, you know, were the songs get to Eurovision that people can chant along to. Um and so it was only like one to seven. And I met up with my brother that day and he was just like, no, you need to get in a metal oct um, because like the number eight in Irish just it does sound pretty metal. So that was his songwriting input into the song. But it's so funny, like just since the song has come out, seeing people from all over the world are like my favorite Irish phrase is oct. <laughs> so it's fun. <laughs> Love it when you say that accident it just works out in your favor. Um, obviously, you said like you were planning this from last year, so this sounds like this is your first time submitting for the Euro song. And obviously, the, it closed in October, and it came out that there was about four hundred entries that have been submitted. So, when you got the call that you were one of the six, um, how did that register in your mind? Did you think it was a joke? Did you run around screaming? Like, I imagine that's a bit of a shock to the system. It, yeah, I mean, I was massively shocked because I, I didn't expect it to be selected because of its genre, um, and kind of just because of how how mad it is. Um, and I was in the gym when I found out I, I was coming towards the end of my workout and my heart rate was already like really up. I was on the bike and I got a call and I was just like, what? <laughs> I just had to like leg it out of the gym. And I even recorded a video of myself leaving the gym all sweaty and looking like a worm because I was like, I need to remember this crazy moment. Um, but yeah, it was insane. I just wasn't, ex you know, obviously I, I hoped and I hoped that I would get that news, but I didn't really expect it at the same time. So I, I obviously for Eurosong, you're all sorted then for what you're going to do. Is it going to be frantic on stage? Bearing in mind that you've got to sing it as well as as probably chore choreographed as well, really tightly. How are you managing with breathing and getting it all <laughs> in? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is a very fast paced song, I guess. I, I'm confident enough about it because we actually played the song, we debuted the song live at my gig in November. Um, and although we did something completely different for that, um, I feel I feel confident that this will go absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, it was because it's such a, you know, crazy, fast, frantic song. Uh, we kind of had to like scale back, you know, like, okay, no, I can't be like just constantly constantly like moving around all the time we have to like have moments and like yeah it'll be interesting to see what, what people think of it but we're very uh confident and and excited about our ideas for the choreography 
Fantastic. Now, I remember last night, because we're filming this on a Saturday afternoon, last night you were on Reddit and you got asked what your favourite Eurovision songs and you listed Blind Channel, Carolia and Go A. Um, what is it about those three particularly that speak to you? Because they're all a bit, you know, rock um, culture as well, influence in there. And with Carolia, just a bit of madness on stage. So what is it about those three songs that speak to you as an artist and a Eurovision fan? Um, I guess so uh, it, individually, um, with Dark Side by Blind Channel, I love the genre, you know, like that's the kind of genre that I would listen to. And I just, I just loved it. I loved the song. Um, with uh, Goa, I thought it was incredible. The, the instrument, the woodwind instrument they had playing and just kind of the mishmash of like how it like moves between genres. Um, that was very inspiring. And actually their, their woodwind, um, instrument solo kind of inspired my ideas behind putting in a tin whistle solo in Gotoven. Um And then with Karia Cha Cha Cha, it was just the atmosphere. Like you could literally hear the atmosphere of the arena uh, in the performance. But I loved how he was just like, like the, the performance was totally unhinged and everyone got behind it. And it really inspired me with like, if I entered a song to Eurovision, what kind of performance as a whole would I like to deliver? And it would definitely be something in that vein. What you don't know is half the atmosphere was Michelle screaming in Liverpool for that song. I think we had the biggest fan <laughs> of Carolia here with us. Amazing. <laughs> was, I, I couldn't speak for a week after Liverpool. It was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Oh, I can imagine. My, my brother was actually there as well. And it was it was from him kind of telling me about what it was like to be there and just like all the parties and everything. I was like, man, I'd love to be a part of that someday. So, it's yeah. the, oh, honestly, it's the best experience ever. You'll, you'll have a ball. Oh, it's amazing. The fans yeah. are amazing. All the artists are amazing. It's such a brilliant bubble to be in. That's so cool. Yeah, and I mean, I've I've seen like just since I was announced for Eurosong, like the fans have been so overwhelmingly supportive. Like it's such a lovely community. So it's really cool. And obviously, once you are part of our community, you stay part of our community forever. As well, you can never, you can never get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm afraid so. Um, but say, so speaking of the community and Eurovision, now I don't want to scare you, but obviously you are one of the fan favourites, and even the bookmakers have got you saying you could do quite well next week and be potentially Ireland's act for Eurovision. How have you processed all that? Because it's been about eight days now since Gatabin got released. As you said, I think you hit 50,000 streams the other day or something. How have you processed all this? It's very surreal, to be honest with you. I mean, like, even the fact that, you know, to begin with, I wasn't expecting the song to be selected, to suddenly have all this happening at once and this amazing response and, you know, the bookies saying this and that. I'm like, wow you know it's very cool um and i guess like things the lineup is incredibly strong so it could go anyway um but um i'm just gonna i'm just gonna deliver as best a performance as i possibly can we've got a really great team behind the performance and we're just super excited and um hopefully everyone gets behind it wonderful let's go to michelle i was just wondering with all the the snippets and uh videos that i've seen of you in the build-up to to euro song you look like you're having an absolute blast was it what you expected are you did you think it would be so much fun or did you think it would be a bit more oh, sort of panicky but you seem completely calm completely relaxed and just just having a laugh um i was prepared for the worst i'm not gonna lie i was really really terrified um and you know like before the news was announced in my head I was just like what have I gotten myself into like you know I'm a very anxious person and um it's I think I've just I think because I kind of geared myself up for it like this in my head I've just been able to roll with it and um go with it and just kind of have the crack and interact with the fans and have a really great time so um yeah I, I've really enjoyed the experience and no matter what happens I'm definitely glad that I did it Wonderful. And just as a final point, what would you like to say to everyone now who is watching this, who has supported yourself, Gotoben, and is, you know, I think now trying to learn how to play the tin whistle? 
um, I guess just thank you so much for all the support. It's meant the world. I really hope that you enjoy the performance at your song and um, I'd love for us all to get the Irish language back on the Eurovision stage. Wonderful. And if you haven't seen, she's got a Britney mic um, so far. She posted a photo of us last week. So I'm intrigued about what that's about for your stage show. You've got a little Britney mic going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, we have a lot of surprises up our sleeves for it. So we're very excited. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait. Well, I think that's everything. That's for sure. Any last points you wish to say? No, I think we. I think we've covered everything. Is there anything that you would like to say, Elsha? I guess just thank you so much for having me. It was lovely to chat with you guys, and uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, see you in Malmo. Oh yeah, yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> it's been our pleasure, and that guys, that is Elsha. She's competing with her song "Gatubin," which translates to "Suddenly" from Irish to English. If you want her in Malmo in May, make sure you vote for her at the Euro Song next week. Best of luck, Elsha. We are supporting you and we wish you all the best for the competition. Thank you so much, Thanks, guys. Girl. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>